Welcome guys, in this video, we will be taking a look at the 1.7 Mirror World update and some tips and tricks on how to play in this new game mode. By the way, a huge thanks to PUBG Mobile for sponsoring this video. Starting off when you're in the plane, you'll see two floating islands which are called Nimbus Island, aka First Mirror World. These islands are currently the biggest hot drops ever, everyone will land on this island, and it's gonna be chaos over here, because you'll find a lot of loot everywhere you go on this island, it's basically filled with extremely high loot. And most importantly, if you die on this island, you'll be sent back to the ground. So you can hot drop on this island without worrying about starting the match all over again. Anyway, this island will disappear after 5 minutes, if you are still on the island you'll be randomly teleported to the ground or close to your teammates. By the way, if you die on this island you'll lose all the items that you have looted on this island. And you'll be sent back to the ground with Scar L and level 1 helmet vest, however if you somehow manage to survive on this island, you get to keep all the loot you found on this floating island. You can choose to jump out from this floating island, if you want to, I would highly recommend picking up some loot and jump off the island, in this way you get to keep all the loot you have. By the way, if you got knocked on this island, you could crawl out of this island and jump, so that you'll automatically get revived, plus you'll get full health recovered. So after the first mirror world disappears, the second mirror world will activate aka champion island, once again there are only two champion islands, and if you go near it, you will find blue glowing hex energy. When you make contact with the wind wall on the surface of Arangle, you will be sent to the champion island. After you arrive on this champion island, you'll transform into a hero. There are four heroes, Jinx, Vi, Jace, or Caitlyn. Each hero has a different weapon and different skills. While you're on this island you'll need to fight against other players with new weapons and skills. And collect hex crystals, you can also defeat the enforcers and firelights to get more hex crystals and open chests to collect even more hex crystals. If you are defeated on this mirror world, you will return back to Arangle in your original form. Once you're back on Arangle, you cannot enter the same mirror world again, but you can enter the other mirror island, so if you die too early on the champion island, you can go to other island and collect more hex crystals. These hex crystals that you find in the mirror area can be exchanged for battle supplies in portable shop. You can even buy airdrop weapons and level 3 armor and backpack, and a lot of other useful supplies in the portable shop at any time anywhere, as long as you have the hex crystals. And there is a new tactical item in the portable shop called Stimulant Pack which recovers health and health recovery upon defeating enemies. Basically when using Stimulant Pack, if you are low on health, it will heal you, but it's very slow, however it will recover full health without boosters. Anyway that's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like these, see you guys in the next one, hope you enjoy my bot gameplay.
I'll blast them away. <laughs> 